Welcome back, everyone. Well, we're playing Detroit Become Human. Looks like we're back with uh, Kara, Alice, and Luther. This is part 23. Happens to also be chapter 23. Uh, I believe uh, we're probably hitting about the two-thirds mark. So probably got about a third left from uh, what I had read before in the reviews. Or when I looked up how many chapters there might be. It wasn't, it wasn't definitive, but... I don't want to say the number, but we're, we're getting probably about a third to go. Alright. Last time we saw Kara, we were hanging out with a bunch of Jerry's. Riding a merry-go-round with Alice at a pirate amusement park. It's completely covered in snow. Very creepy when all the Jerry's showed up. Alright, let's see here. I don't think that's Luther. He's not big enough to be Luther. Hello? Nope, of course not. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. I refuse. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Fingerless gloves, helping show the world we're androids. Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Well, last time we got help, it went went real bad, but I trust this rose a little more. Putting off good vibes. You All think right. You can trust them. There we go. I do. You don't have a choice. Okay, that's not exactly what I said, but I do trust him. Okay. <laughs> I'm cold, Kara. Oh, sorry. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go inside. Go in oh, don't stay out here with me. Not while I walk around real quick. Okay, good. There's nothing to do. Sorry. Sorry, Alice. I got this OCD where I feel like I need to explore every little thing before I go down the main path. Hit your head, Luther. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? And if anybody is uh, continuing watching from the uh, part 22 before this, that's when, oh boy, I, my nerves are going trying to save Connor. And uh, we managed to do so, but uh, I'm still uh, feeling a little uh, excitable from that last little incident. Alright, looking at a clock. It's a clock. I, I, I love how Alice just always wants to hold my hand. I really feel... I am getting that whole like motherly vibe to her. Of course, her mom. I still don't get that. You know, I first assumed when they said her mom was gone that she had passed or something bad had happened. But then you come to find out she left because Todd, of course, was on drugs. But it's like, why would you leave your daughter behind? So I don't know. I, I, I'm not her, so she might have her reasons. But, yep, yeah, there's nothing in my head I can come up with. And sorry for dancing around. I was trying to read that magazine and it won't let me. So maybe if I put Alice up in the room, maybe then I can interact with everything. Because right now, I guess we were able to view a couple things. So Christmas time. Or it's a couple months after Christmas or before Christmas when people still have trees up or put it up early. Alright. No, there's no Harry Potter under the stairs. Let's see here. Okay, yeah. Let's just go get Alice some warm up here. What was that sound? What was Adam? Is that Adam? What are you doing? Well, it's, I don't know why it made me turn right there. 
Okay, he's clearly directing me that way. Those are all closed. Let's just go in. I mean, they can't do nothing to me. I got Luther with me. You guy's a behemoth. I, I, mean, I don't know what he was used for. I almost feel like it's a labor camp or a bodyguard, but I really feel like he might be one of those guys that was uh, playing sports when people are worried about androids playing sports. Alright. Let's get them wet boots off. I need to get you tucked in that bed and get warm. There you go, babe. I'm fine, Kara. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. We need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe they're just scared. Alice People is are always scared of what they don't know. Alice is referring to herself as an android. They'd see we're not bad. I know she's just grouping herself up. Let's see. I love being an optimist. Gotta choose Maybe it. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. Well, I haven't heard of it, but feet in no time. I'm sure it's good. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Now I really want to eat spaghetti in real life. Okay. You need to eat something. Yeah, I gotta get that strength up. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? We'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. <laughs> nice, nice, Luther. I'll stay with her a while. The gentle giant. Okay. Adam is not blocking the path now to do some exploring. If there is anything to explore, I know for sure they got a magazine for me to read. I'm sure you viewers are real excited. Uh, of course, anyone who's not excited is probably going to turn this video off right now because they don't want to hear me read out some magazine in a video game. But I enjoy it, and uh, it helps with the exposition of the game. Gets us a little more background knowledge of what's going on in the world. Alrighty, let's see here. Doing my sweep again. There's Rose. That's who we need to talk to. Of course, look at the tree again. Can we turn on the TV? Nope. Over there. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Rose does not look old enough to be Adam's mother. Care. All right, fine. I wanted to read the magazine, but you won't let me. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I don't know how to thank you. <laughs> Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't 
don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. <coughs> and after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. We, of course, haven't it's heard that. It's safer for you to stay here until things settle down. <coughs> we can't keep hiding like this. Alice seems to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Excuse me. Rose, come quickly. Oh, you came out of nowhere. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, water. I'm going down the wrong pipe. Alright. That magazine is glued to the table. They won't let me read it. Oh, the other rooms were full of people. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Well, hopefully you ate your spaghetti. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. She's a free bird. You all right, Kara? He says Kara. Yes. But Kara says Kara. I'm fine. We're gonna stick with Kara. I'm sure, it's just the uh, actors and actresses uh, just pronouncing a different way. It's like I wish I had a we can't hide them. definitive answer. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Calm down, Adam. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! I think his shirt says, Average Casual Guy. Don't mind him. Not quite. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? Thanks, Rose. You stay here. I won't be long. Now we can read the magazine? Ah, we can, finally. Uh, who would win it? World War Three. Bonus culture, why bankers pay themselves so much. Was President Warren too close to cyber life? 
If fighting does break out in the Arctic, who's going to win? America has less access to the area, but is surrounded by allies. Russia has a head start on technology. Their androids can work in sub-zero sub conditions. The U.S. Navy is stocked with Trojan and Myrmidon, Myrmidon cyber life units, which are specially adapted for marine combat, where the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units capable of forging new paths through solid ice. Both armies seem evenly matched, and Harry Grayton, president of the World Council of Territorial Dis Disputation, or dispute, see, disputation, disputation, uh, sure, uh, has described both U.S. and Russian claims to Arctic territory as equally tenuous and equally cynical. A spokesperson for the U.N. has also commented on the neck-and-neck -neck nature of Arctic competition. The fact that forces are so evenly balanced is just one more reason why conflict must be avoided at all costs. This is a war that everybody would lose. Well, that's not a happy article. That's me. That's me on the cover. Uh, so, that's my model right there. The number one android for home assistance, obviously. So, I've I, I recognized that throughout as we watch this, that you do see repeating uh, androids, obviously, based on, you know, their profession, which, I mean, I'm sure everyone who's watched videos has noticed. So this must be the like kind of stay at home like maid helper out around the house model. Uh, treat yourself. A AX400 starting at just 899. That's really not that bad. If you, it, it, I mean this is granted. Let's think of technology. This has been out for a while. It gets cheaper. Uh, and who knows where the inflation is at the world today? But at 899, like I said, 20 years in the future. I can't think. I see. I can't put myself in the scenario. But if that existed right now, of course, this thing would be a you know billion dollars a piece. But obviously, they got cheaper in 20 years' time. Uh, designed by CyberLife, built in Detroit. Oh, and uh, apparently there's nothing to read about it. It's just, I guess you're just supposed to see yourself on the cover. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, somebody's here. We shouldn't answer. The police. Oh, of course. It's the police. Well, quit yelling it. The door, find evidence of Deviants 3 here. left. Wait, what does it Open say? Oh, so, oh, okay. This actually will be beneficial. I'll do the talking. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this Deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. May I come in? Of course. All right, so we saw Good where they're evening. hiding. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's, there's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. I hope they don't ask to see her. And I didn't close any of those doors to hide evidence. I'm real worried. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no. Androids. Oh, I should have said yes. He's right by the door. How did he not see all that Ethereum? Oh, this has me on edge. Thanks. You know Rose is going to come down and throw this all off. Zero percent's a good number, but it may not stay that way. Oh, thank God we changed it back to the other cover. 
Oh, that is what that was for. I did that on a whim. She was the model on the front. Oh, that's a good touch. Is there, is there anything else around the room? I didn't even do a sweep just to make What's sure. What's your name, son? It's Adam. Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? Damn it, Adam! The, the androids, they... He needs a rest. Ah, oh, I should have said upset. He's I kind of like that the better. garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I haven't seen any. Oh, you're terrible, Adam. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Get out of here. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Oh, Adam, you almost blew it. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. <laughs> <He's safe here. laughs> I'm glad that's over. It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. That was tense. Alright, looks like that could have gotten half. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Looks like we did 52% of it. Obviously, there's going to be uh, some things that uh, basically we got caught. <laughs> there's a lot of it. Okay, let's see here. That was good. Uh, arrive at Rose's place. Of course, we checked on Alice. We're inside the house. Let's see here. Where's the first one? All right. Uh, basically, uh, when we saw the two androids, not in the cupboard, but then that side room, you let Alice see Mary or probably have her leave the room, obviously. Uh, Rose left to find help. Read the magazine. And I just do not get that. I guess maybe the, some of the other options are didn't read the magazine or something, but we still missed a few things. Adam returned. Cop at the door. Uh, open the door. Seems like the right choice. I, I'm going to have a real hard time on these next playthroughs. I'm going to pick different decisions, but I may not pick different decisions right at the start. Just to see, because obviously there will be different playouts. I think with that one, I'm just going to have to not open the door. We'll, 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 we'll see when we get there. Um, find and hide evidence of deviants. Uh, there probably was a lot more to hide if the cops searched the entire house. Because there we only, we hid the pouches. Yeah, we drew the curtains back. Um, other than that, may, maybe if we hadn't offered him coffee, who knows. Uh, Adam panics. I almost feel like I should have chose a different choice there, but it worked out. Made the coffee. Uh, policeman did question Adam. He sees the android clothes. I was thinking about that. There was a jacket on that other side that looked maybe like an android's, and that was probably something I could have hidden, but at least when he asked us if we owned an android, we did say yes. We did tell me I had a daughter named Alice. I'm really glad he did not ask to see, like, to meet them. That would have been pretty bad. All right, police fooled. Obviously, I, I don't know the outcome. Man, I, that could have been real bad for Rose and Adam if, if that would have gone, you know, real, uh, if he would have discovered. All right, well, that's going to do it for this chapter. Um, I'm Happy Tangent. Please like and subscribe. I love making these videos, and I'm going to make a lot more. So we'll see you around.